What's up, wonderful bloggers? It is very good to see you here once again. Before anyone says, I know my camera isn't showing today. I just wanted to do a no camera show for this website. So this is theoramwell.com, and I want to show today how to edit your templates in Popcorn because Popcorn, the way it works, is fantastic. It actually creates templates for your entire website. So if any of your users just find a particular page, there's always a default page built there and you effectively can edit these for your site as long as you're using the popcorn theme. Now it's worth noting popcorn is a brilliant theme. I actually think it's the best theme on the internet right now for blogging. So it's definitely worth checking out. Remember to use code Theopop if you want to get yourself $15 off popcorn. Okay, so first step, let's hit edit site, then go ahead and click templates and then go ahead and click manage all templates. Once you get here, this is how you can effectively decide on any template in particular that you want to edit or change or develop or whatever. Now, say you have changed it and you don't like the change, you just want to go back to the basics and restart again. You can just hit this three dots here and click clear customizations. I've done this a bunch of times on various websites just to experiment because part of you know how I work is I try loads and loads of different things and then I just click clear customizations. And that's how I kind of experiment and find the perfect look for my sites. So I'm going to take you through some of the just changes that I typically make to my popcorn sites. First is first, I'm just going to middle mouse button each of these that I want to change. And then that way I can individually edit them. I never really use page with sidebar. I just use page typically. I will change the 404. I will change the index because index is quite an important one to change. And I probably will also change category as well. Everything else I tend to leave on default. So let's have a look at the single post first. All right, so single post is pretty much set up already. Now, first is first, I change this affiliate links from being like a, a separate line to actually being on the same line. And I just press shift enter to create that second line. I find it a lot better like that because it creates less space and the eyes aren't immediately dragged to the affiliate links. I like the affiliate links disclaimer to be showing but i don't like to be like focus on only this over everything else in the post i yeah, prefer to actually have it just shown a little bit apart from that you have an option either you can click inner blocks off if you want and that will be the entire size or you can have it on it's entirely up to you i turn it off most of the time as for the general size of this page i prefer it actually on a thousand three hundred and fifty i find this size for desktop in particular is really really nice it just works better. So that's usually what I go for. Then I go ahead and change most of the stuff to 1,200 just to suit that new size. It creates a nice little barrier on the side. You could put that even up to 1,250 like so if you wanted. It's really up to you guys what you prefer. I just kind of go for what I personally like. And at the end of the day, that's what it's all about, right? Okie dokie. So I formatted that now so that it's all pretty much the exact same size to what it is I'm looking for. Probably will make this one as well because I think it just works a little bit better. So I could remove that like so, or I could just put the exact size I kind of want to see, which would go with the inner block size very, very well. Okay, so on a on a whole, that's really nice now. I'm pretty happy with that. Now I know the default here is to have this on the left, but I actually think it looks better when it goes all the way across, like so. I just think it adds a bit more structure to the site. So I'm gonna do that for now. Okay, so let's move on to single with sidebar. Okay, so similar thing here that I like to do personally, and that is just change the size to 1,350. I just prefer that size uh, on a whole. 1,250 is kind of like pretty good as well, to be honest. There's no problem with it whatsoever. I just go for what I personally like. It's really up to you what you go for at the end of the day. I mean, heck, you could go for the entire screen if you want to, but I wouldn't suggest it. Okay, fantastic. And just again here, I'm just going to make sure that this author section is actually goes all the way across. I think that looks a little bit better just generally on default like that. So that's what I'll go for. I'm going to leave the disclaimer there. I think the disclaimer looks nice there. I think it's useful. It's always actually present on the blog, which is an important thing to do. Now, I don't like the color of this post author section, so I'm just going to change that and make it the right size as well. So to change that, I'm going to change the styles, click on background. And then I'm going to select this pinkish color. I'm going to actually select it and just change the transparency till it's almost just about where it is I want to be. 
No, it's not working. It's because I'm using the site style for that. So I'm just going to leave it like that for now. I can change the site style actually up here if I so choose, but I'm just going to leave it like that. As for everything else, by the looks of it, I'm pretty happy with how that looks. Yep, we can go ahead and click save for that and move on. If you don't want to be spending too much time on this. You don't really get paid as a blogger for having a pretty site. You get paid for putting words onto pages. So therefore, your job is to put words on pages. OK, so this is a page. So slightly different here. Pages tend to, to be, for me, uh, a way for me to show categories of content rather than anything else in particular. So I will probably just leave that the way it is apart from just changing the size slightly. There you go. And then what I'll also do is actually just remove this and change the actual size itself. So it's 1,250. So that's kind of like the size I actually quite like working with. There you go. That's a bit nicer for me personally. I'm happy with that. You can always change it to what it is you know, that suits you well. If you want to make it smaller, you can make it smaller. It's really just personal preference on that. Do what works for you best, guys. OK, that's done. OK, so now we're going to edit our 404. This is obviously when you have an error on your page, things like of that nature. This will automatically be shown. It's like a redirect, I guess. Whenever there's an error shown, it automatically shows this. So you can change this to literally any writing you want. Page not found. And I'm just going to put home. And I'm just going to put an additional little section, take me to the home page. And then what I'm actually going to do is actually just link this, the home page. And that way, you know, if a user's using this, they can just click that and it will take them directly to where they want to go. I'm also going to change this here to an actual probably picture of me and the picture. I want it to just kind of get across the devastation. OK, great. So you can see <laughs> the devastation there in my facial expression. And then what we'll do is actually just link the home page like so to this. And then that way, if they click the picture, they'll actually go home as well, because I want to keep them redirected as soon as possible. Realistically, what we can also do is bring this actually up, as I think this would probably be a good idea to put this particularly directly under that. There you go. And then that way they can search what it is they want to find. There you go. I think we'll leave the writing here. I'm going to remove this. Why not search? Because I mean, you don't really need to tell people to search anymore. You can just say search for your query. OK, and then that's it. Quite simple. That's the 404. I'm happy with that. I'm just going to click save and leave that kind of like that. OK, so this brings us to index page. Index page is your blog. Basically, when people click posts, and you've got a specific blog page. This is the index page that is shown. So if you want to edit your index page, this is kind of how you would do it. So for this one, I'm definitely going to change this to 1350. And I'm going to make sure that these pictures here, I get rid of this height. I actually don't want to have the height in there. And because I always make sure my pictures are the exact same size, I don't really need to worry about much else. As for the writing, I've got it set to 11 words. I want it set to slightly more, probably. Probably 25 words is probably the max I want to go for realistically on that. Now you've got an option here. You can do all that or you can change the border as well, which I quite like doing. Actually, the borders do look really, really nice on popcorn theme. Um, they can be a bit distracting. That's the only problem with them. So it's if you do it, you have to kind of come up with a way to make it look good. I'm going to reset that to default. I don't want to show it. OK, cool. So I'm happy with that. Am I happy with the amount shown on here? Probably not. So what I do to change that is I just click the block, I click query loop, then go down to the amount. And I want to show quite a few more realistic I'm going to go for 18, the decimal of three. And then that way it will always show the maximum amount on this page. And that's going to be perfect for me. I want them to be able to sh see like everything. Basically, I'm just going to change this to all posts. Fantastic. OK, that works for me shows everything I want to see and it doesn't overwhelm them too much. It's just the right size. You don't want to make everything too small because then it's just a bit too much for people to look at, which is just perfect on a whole. I'm happy with that. Now let's go to the category editor. So with this, I don't like it showing the archive type. I believe it actually on default shows this archive type in title. Turn that off. That's a definitely click that and then turn that off just so it shows the title itself. 
And then if you've got any description for that specific category, it'll be shown there. It's kind of like simple in many ways how that works. With this sizing, I'm pretty comfortable with this sizing, actually. I don't think it needs to be much bigger than that. And I'm quite fond of that, actually. I think with this, you don't want to have too many words because sometimes you won't have a lot of words in your SEO sections. Now, as for categories, how many do we want to actually have shown here on this page is the big question. It's really up to you what you want to go for, but I personally would suggest having enough that people would actually be interested in seeing it. Okay, so I'm happy with that. And again, if you want to go back to, you know, change your front page or anything like that, you can just click manage all templates like I just did. And then you can literally just click your front page like so. And you can edit anything here as well that you so choose. It's entirely up to you what you want to do. In fact, I am just going to have a quick edit here. I'm going to remove this height 250 just so it becomes slightly more condensed in. I'm going to change this up because it's not working for me the way it currently looks. I'm going to get rid of this height. And I think the pictures say everything I needed to say. I don't need writing there as well, personally, for that one. For everything else here, I'm pretty comfortable with what I've got written there. If I wanted to make this bigger, I could do. Again, I could go to 1,350, but in this instance, I'm not going to because on the home page, when I advertise this, I know there's going to be side rails and I don't want to cover those side rails or sidebars or anything of that nature for the home page. But generally, that's how you would edit the templates in popcorn theme. I really hope this video helped you in some way, shape or form. If it did, you know what to do. Hit that like button, click subscribe. I post lots of content on this channel and I know for a fact this channel is going to be big one day. So this channel is all about my career in blogging and YouTube. So I want to share that journey with you. If that sounds like something you might like, make sure you subscribe. This is Theo Ramwell and I'll see you in the next video.